going on youtube it's your boy Barry tone in today's video i'm going to be showcasing to you guys the best settings for a lower end pc on the ryu jinx emulator but before we get started this video please make sure guys you like share also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel without further ado let's get right into it let's get it now first things first do keep in mind that these are only for um low end pc users these are basically the best settings Yes, I know in hindsight, the Ryu Jinx emulator do not have the best options for people who have strong PCs or low end PCs because it's very limited when you compare it to Yuzu. Yuzu, you, can, you have more things, you can do more things, you can mess around more with the settings, but there's certain settings for low end PC users to get a, a more in playable experience, not the settings where you can play to the maximum performance but a setting where, you, where it's playable so what you do here is go to um the options tab go to settings and when you get to system make sure you disabled um basically this is basically the shader cast um essentially you have to disable that and when you get to the graphics tab when you get to here also disable um shader cast and then when you get here, uh, the, fl the flickering, make it 2x, native 720p, it's good. That's good for low end PC users. And then aspect ratio, stretch to fit window is also good. And after that, basically apply it and then you save it. And basically all set with that. But there's other ways you can enhance your experience to make it even more playable. And I'm gonna also leave this in, in the description down below. This is to the 60 FPS mod. Since we we're now we're enabled to use mods on the Ryu Jinx emulator, it's much easier than ever before to use mods on the Ryu Jinx emulator. You can basically left click, go to open mod directly or directory. You can basically enable the 60 FPS mod hack and also the 4K, but I don't advise you guys using 4K, using the 4K mod due to the fact that you're basically trying to focus on getting it to be a, at a playable state, not try to push it up to max settings. That's, we just can't do that. So I wouldn't recommend, if you're a low end PC user, I wouldn't recommend using the 4K um, mod, but I do recommend using the 60 FPS to give you a, basically a better experience when you're playing the game and also do keep in mind that if you have nvidia or amd or any type of driver make sure your driver is always up to date due to the fact that it's always important to have the latest drivers that also can go a long way helping you when when you're playing the game and performance wise it really really can go a long way and also always mess with your um, graphics tab control panel. I always stress this a lot. Using the NVIDIA control panel is very important, no matter what. Even when you're trying to get the max performance, medium performance, and even low end performance, because there's certain settings you can set it to, to basically, um, to match your experience that you want when you're playing the game. So I always, I always stress using the NVIDIA graphics tab. The, the video control panel graphics that whatever you call it and then have how this is basically my default settings i use this for any game even low end um even high end but i may i usually tweak the settings a little bit when i'm using trying to get to max performance but like i said i use my gts 1050 at all times when i use um preference i always recommend always using performance because I'm basically trying to push to get um, a good playable experience. Mad Manage 3D settings. Always use the NVIDIA processor. Integrated graphics is basically the graphics card that comes with the PC. AKA, I think it's like something like we have to do with HPT. Basically a HPT um, graphics card, which is really horrible. I really, I really don't recommend using that. And then all you see the settings. The default settings is usually good if you um, experience any bad per, um, bad performance. 
I say mess around with these settings a little bit, make some certain tweaks. Because for a lot of little NPC users, you guys can have different settings that work different to somebody to somebody that has a low NPC also. Alright. With this, use high um the video high performance NVIDIA processor. But again, default settings are good. If you feel like you need to um, make a hand to certain um certain um settings, so be it. Due to the fact that your settings may be different from another person that has a low NPC, and certain settings may work better for you to compare to compare to somebody else or better than mine. Who knows? I'm just showing you guys the default settings you guys can use, and then you can make certain tweaks to it. Basically, help your experience better. Because right now there's not much, but there's ways you can get around that. You know, what I mean, in the near future, as basically the emulator gets more advanced, I believe we have more settings. If not, these are basically the best ways to go about it when if you're a low NPC user. So, yeah, that's basically about it. If you guys enjoyed this video or find this video any helpful at all, always feel free to leave a like, share, and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And yeah, guys, this is your boy Braytone. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.